Guys, Brent Abel back here with you with a follow-up to today's episode of What's the Right Shot. I want to talk about the mindset for the passing shot, right? And this works on any passing shot, and that is, and I, I mentioned this and kind of kind of went heavy on it in the episode of What's the Right Shot, but I want to give you a, a little deeper dive on passing shots always in your mind feeling like this is a two-shot play. It might not be. I mean, you might decide, hey, I'm going to go up the line with this thing, and the guy does, maybe he thinks you're going cross court, right? Or maybe you end up hitting it so well that he he just can't get to it. Fine and dandy, that's going to be, um, that'll end up being a winner, and that's just kind of icing on the cake. But you got to make sure that you're really comfortable thinking to yourself, okay, I've got clarity of where I'm going to play the shot, and... Target-wise, for me, this is super important. I no longer think about a target of being, well, a spot over here on the court or a spot in front of his feet or something over here. I'm always thinking of, in my mind's eye, if I want to go, cro- if I want to go up the line, what's the spot on the tape, on the white line, as if we're hitting against a backboard, Right when we hit against a backboard or a wall, there's always a white line there, and all we uh, all we ever think about is I just want to hit the ball above the white line. Well, for me, this makes the target way more tangible than you know. If we stop play here, if you were to stop life, and right here you're looking, you can look at the target you want to go to, which is through the net. You're looking through the net at the target. Your brain that has a hard time to compute, kind of compute that. You want to be thinking of a spot over the top of the net that equates to the direction that you want the ball to go. And I've just found I no longer have to think about, about controlling depth. It just happens. If I think about a spot above the top of the net, it just seems to work. So that's that's kind of thing two, right? Thing one is let's make sure you're always thinking this is going to be a two-shot play. Number two is your target. And for me, where where I go cross court with this, um, just thinking I want to get it down to his feet. I was just thinking here on my target that, well, first of all, it's going to be two shots. I know he's going to touch it. know he's going to get to it. But the target's going to be just a spot above that center strap, right? And that's going to equate to getting down to this spot right here. I'm looking for the next shot. That's okay. I know he's going to touch the ball. I know that's going to happen, and that's okay. And whatever comes back, we can't, we obviously, we can't control what he does with it. But whatever comes back, we will just do it in the words of Dick Johnson. We'll just take it from there. When you've got this two shot mindset, I'm telling you, on the first shot, you've got so much clarity, you've got so much confidence because you realize. You don't have to hit a winner to be able to win this point. You don't have to hit this thing from this part of the court up the line or cross court or someone as an outright winner. You don't have the pressure to put on yourself to do that. You know that you're going to get a better opportunity by playing something like this. Even if you go up the line, right, you're going to get a better opportunity with probably whatever comes back. And there you have it. So... I just want to hammer home those two things about passing shots in general. Number one, make sure that you're really confident with a two-shot mindset. might take some practice. It should take some practice, right? And then number two is to make sure that wherever your, your first shot is, especially on the pass, is that it's a spot above the top of the net right? In your mind's eye, even though you're looking at the ball, in your mind's eye, if you want to take this thing cross court as I did, I'm just thinking, okay, I'm just thinking center strap. What's the top of the center strap in my mind's eye? And I want to play this thing, I don't know, a foot above it. Let's call it a foot above it. Play it slow and low. So you buy some time to be able to come back into the court and whatever he plays, you're now you got a chance, right? You got a chance to just kind of take it from there. So hope those two things today are helpful for you. And one of the things that I want you 
to make sure that you're doing is that if you're getting tight, if you're choking, um, you get a nice lead in the set and you just kind of get a little tight, a little, a lot and choke, or you just naturally have got some nerves that make it difficult when you're playing a league match or a tournament match, or even, you know, a, a really serious practice match to where the difference between when you're drilling and feeling comfortable out there, uh, as opposed to the real deal, you've got to be able to manage the time between points, right? Between points is 25 seconds, according to the rules. And how long is this point? This point maybe took, I don't know, let's go ahead and count it out, right? Point starts right here, and we're going 1-1,001, 1-1,002, one, 1-1,003, one, 1-1,004, one, 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 five. five seconds. And so if you think about that, 20%, right? 20% of the time, you're actually playing points in matches, and that's it. The other, the other 80% on average is in between points. And if you really manage that between points time well, you give yourself the best chance to be able to have some clarity, have some focus, and especially on shot choice as right, as you see it right here. That all happens between points. I've got a four parts between point system that's completely changed me as a player, completely changed my game. It's a free video. It's a nine minute free video I want to get to you if you haven't seen this yet. And I go through a detailed explanation of each one of those four parts of my between points routine, my between points system. Right down below is the link. Go ahead, click it, and you will get access to that free nine minute video. Guys, hope today has been helpful with this mindset in terms of two-set mindset, uh, two-shot, two-shot mindset, and then also the target being a spot above the top of the net. Let me know down below what's on your mind. Any questions, any comments, any remarks, feedback, let me know. And as always, it's time right now. That's right. We got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.